Hey guys, Christy here from Christy Velasquez Art. So today we're going to be doing an experiment. I have this, this is about a 14 inch um, round board that I have primed with white spray paint. And what I'm gonna be experimenting with today is cells. So typically in my resin paintings, if I wanna get cells, I use the stone coat white base tint or the black base tint or any of their base tints are really good for producing cells. Now with stone coat, the thing to remember is you don't want to get too much in your res too much of this in the resin or too little or your cells are either going to just disappear or you won't get cells at all. Um, you want to just get just the right amount of this that it turns your resin opaque to whatever base tint you're using, whether it's white, black, purple, um, green, whatever color you're using of stone coat. Now, like I said, stone coat is known to give really great cells and because it's a base tint, it goes on the bottom, right? So you swipe or pour your colors over the base tint and that gives you your cells. So, um, I like stone coat, but it's about, this will cost $20 plus shipping. So in one of my resin Facebook groups, someone had mentioned that they tried, uh, Rust-Oleum's enamel paint in their resin to see if they could get the same kind of cell action that the stone coat provides. So I don't have any Rust-Oleum enamel paint, but what I do have, and I use this in my acrylic pores, is the Deco Art Satin Enamel. So this is an enamel paint, and when I use it in my acrylic paints, I get some crazy effects, some really cool things. Um, you've probably seen it called the cloudy effect. Uh, so that's what you get in acrylic um, pores. So what I thought was I would compare the cell action that I get from putting this Deco Arts satin enamel paint in my resin compared to the stone coat. So I'm going to take my board and I'm going to do half of it in the stone coat white base tint and then half of it in the white deco art uh, satin enamels and then I'm going to swipe uh, using the same colors on both sides and see the difference in the cells that I get. Maybe I'll get cells using the satin enamels, maybe I won't, but I just thought it'd be a great uh, way to, you know, try this and see uh, because, you know, places like Michaels and things like that sell enamel paints particularly this brand, um, the Deco Art. But if you do get, if you know, if my experiment works and I get great cells using enamel paints, that may be a more cost-effective uh, option for um, getting cells in your resin. All right, so I'm gonna go mix up my resin, put on my respirator. So the rest of this video will be a voiceover. I always use a respirator when uh, painting with resin, even though the resin I use is stone coat, art coat, um, art coat, and it does have, you know, no VOCs and low odor and things like that. You know, you only get one set of lungs. So I always use um, gloves, uh, have my apron on, and I always have a respirator that is graded for um, chemicals of, of the resin type in the air. So I'm going to get my resin mixed up, get my respirator on, and then we're going to get to experimenting and see if we can get some cells with enamel paints. All right. So here I am um, spreading the stone coat white base tint onto one half of the round board. Like I said, I was going to do one half of the board in the stone coat white base tint and then the other half in the Deco Arts white enamel paint um, to see you know what cell effects I get. So I'm going to keep the stone coat uh, container on the one side and then the enamels on the other so that you can keep up with uh, which side is which. I did notice when I poured the satin enamels on that it is a truer white than the stone coat. The stone coat looked a little, how do I describe it, like a little dingier? <laughs> uh, where the satin enamels was a, a very uh, bright um, opaque white. So for the colors I'm using, I'm going to be using the Just Resin Rich Gold, the Just Resin Midnight Violet, and Just Resin Navy Blue. All of these are pigment paste that I mixed into the resin. 
you want to make sure you don't add too much of any of these pigment paste or you'll get like marshmallow fluff it'll turn your resin into a very thick uh, consistency and it uh, makes it not easy to to work with so you only need a tiny little bit with a lot of these pigment paste like this to get the vibrant color that you see here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour all three colors directly down the center of my board, and then I'm going to swipe out from the center through the, the white colors and to see what kind of cells I get. So as always, you want to heat up your resin um, so that it is more uh, movable, so it, it flows easier, um, and then it also pops all the bubbles. If you do um, heat up your resin, it does, you know, help in techniques like swiping. So here I just have, this is a piece of just parchment paper that I've cut down, and you only need to just lightly put it on to the resin, and then have a very even pressure and you just lightly pull it out um, and over. So for stone coat, you, you pull your colors over the stone coat because it's a base tint. So if you think of basement, which is on the bottom, the stone coat base tints should go on the bottom. So that's why I pulled the color over. Now with the deco art, I'm gonna do the same technique by pulling the colors over the deco art uh, paint or resin here, but I'm not sure if it works in the same manner as the stone coat, but this is an experiment, so um, I'm just going to do it both the same way and, and see what happens. So you can immediately see after applying heat, I get a ton of cells from the stone coat side. You do see some cells popping up over on the deco art side. It's definitely not uh, as as many effects as the stone coat, uh, but. I did get some, especially there with the gold and, and the blue, you can't really see it. I did get some cool cells there, but the stone coat, wow, I mean, it really gives awesome cells. And I knew it did uh, because I used it in a lot of my resin paintings already. So now I'm just going to continue swiping uh, some colors and then I'm just going to kind of mess around with it and try to get it to be something that I like. Uh, this, you know, this is an experiment piece, so I didn't necessarily expect it to be a final result that I would necessarily sell. Um, but I'm going to mess with it and, and try to get it to uh, look somewhat like a painting instead of just an experiment. So I'm going to let you just watch the process here, and then I'll be back towards the end to kind of talk through uh, some of the results that I saw.
Okay, guys, so here is the almost dry piece. Um, this is the next uh, morning, and it's still kind of a little, little sticky, but I wanted to come in and show you the results. So on this side is um, where I put the stone coat, and then this side is where I put the Deco Art satin enamels. So right off the bat here, you can see there's a lot more cell action using the stone coat versus the Deco Arts enamel. Now I did get some cells with the Deco Arts. Um, it was not, you know, as as much as the stone coat, definitely. Um, but I do I will bring you down in here for a close up, and I'm sorry for the glare, but you can see. There are some little cells here, especially out to the side. Um, this was a cool little lacing area, if it will focus. And then the stone coat just cells all, all along this side. So I think experiment wise, I mean, they even got some really cool like rainbow. Um, Look at that. That's a really cool section. I think overall, Stone Coat works, you know, a lot better than the enamels. Now, it might have been that I didn't get my mixture for the enamels right. Maybe I needed to add more of the paint to the resin. Um, I definitely got the Stone Coat I think I got that consistency correct. So um, I might do some more experimenting with the enamels. I do have some other colors. So maybe I'll try um, the black and, and see how that works. Because sometimes different colors of things work differently. But this is the result. Um, not sure I like the overall painting. But this was just an experiment to see if I could get cells from the Deco Art uh, satin enamels. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.